So what have I been watching? Um, let's start with the stuff I watched on Disney Plus because that's really all I watched. Uh, I did watch the first Tron movie, and I just upload. I'm uploading a review currently for that on my second channel or my main channel, Kabam Studios. I'm also uploading a review for um, Firefly, so I, I'll be watching Tron Legacy and um, Serenity pretty soon here. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm actually going to make the second half of this video talking about some plans I have for uh, movie things I'm going to review this week. I want to do one of these every week if I can. I don't know if it's going to work out. Um, I got some things going on. But, um, so, you know, since I'm going to review Tron Legacy like, and everything Tron, on Disney Plus they have Tron Uprising, which I've kind of always wanted to see. It's never actually sat down and watched it right so I was like okay I'm gonna watch this finally and I sat down to watch it um this is a 19 episode show only one season long it was cut really short here let me turn down the volume because that clicking noise is gonna drive me up a wall right so but um I watched I watched about the first six episodes. The animation in the show is honestly gorgeous. Like, it's really stylized. Looks really good. And, um... And it, this show has really good characters. Dialogue, voice acting, scripting. Elijah Wood does a voice in this show. And he's really good in it. Um, there's a lot of things that are really good in this show. Just, like, a lot of stuff. And it's so good. Like, I absolutely love watching this show um like i was like i'm just gonna watch one episode today or something like that and then i started doing it and i was like you know i can't just do that i want to watch more and then i wanted to watch more and more and so i ended up watching like seven episodes so i'm like pretty much almost halfway through the season basically and i'm probably gonna watch more tonight before i go to bed um but it was like yeah i really love the show um and I, I, I've never seen Tron Legacy, so this is kind of like to bridge the gap in between Tron Legacy and the original Tron. And I don't know much about it, but I still understand everything that was going on for the most part. Maybe I'm missing some details, but I'm excited to watch Tron Legacy now. Because if it's anything like this show, I, I probably will love it. It's so good, honestly. I loved it. Okay, so and the next thing I watched was... X-Men, the animated series. <laughs> okay, so I watched only the first season. There's five seasons of this show. And... So I, I... I'm gonna go through every season, probably in this series, and then I'm gonna, you know, review the whole series when I'm finished with it. Um, the first season, I liked it. I thought it was really good for the first half. Right when you're, they're showing you these characters and you're seeing, oh wow, they actually did all this stuff in like a kid show. Like it didn't seem possible, possible before in like a kid show format. But this show makes it work. But then when you get to the back half and you see like the Age of Apocalypse story, really dumbed down and kind of kiddie. Right, they skip over the whole part of how Angel becomes Archangel. If you know anything in the comics, Angel actually, I guess spoilers for that story, but it's been out for multiple years. If you're gonna read it. You should have read it by now. Um, he loses his wings, and then Apocalypse is like, here, you can get some new wings, and then takes over his mind. And, but it's 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 a little bit different than that, and I'm not going to spoil it, I guess, if you want to go back and watch the show, because this is a good show. I think it still holds up today. I think some of the episodes are a little bit more corny, but I don't think enough of them were to, to it really to matter at all, and it's still a really uh, good show. But I just think, like, some of these stories are like, yes, you could tell that they dumbed it down for kids. And it's like, eh, I don't know if I like that. Especially since, like, they, they seem to not do that for other stories. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I, I really got bothered by that. And I liked how they introduced the characters in the first season really well. And then I watched about the first three episodes in the first season. And... Uh, or the uh, second season and which is like a 10 episode season 
And it's a good, they're good episodes. Um, you can tell that they're expanding upon the characters that they set up a little bit more, and I like that. And I'm, I'm interested to see where that goes. Um, so I, I enjoyed that. Um, the next episode has like 19 episodes. And then the next season has 25 episodes. And then the last season has literally six episodes. So it'll be a while before I get through all that. Because it is kind of not the most fun show to watch. Because it's kind of really slowly paced. Not in a bad way. But it's just like, you know, it's not a show like I'm going to be binging through. Which, you know, I'm not, I'm okay with not binging through a show really quick because you know it kind of ruins the experience of actually enjoying the show right at least for me it does anyways um so then I watched this movie Gus which is kind of about this um They, they like get this mule to be, like be on the football team as like a kicker it's like a Don Knotts comedy it's goofy it's really stupid as hell it's a very um, when this come out 1976 right and it's a really cheesy kind of dumb movie it's one of those really 70s Disney movies but like it's really funny anything Don Knotts is in it it's really funny and uh, they had um That um, the dad from the Happy Days. I can't remember Richie's dad. I can't remember the actor's name who played that. And but he was in it and he was having fun and he was like, yeah, it was re- it was really fun uh, to watch that. I enjoyed watching that so much, so much fun. Um, I actually really liked that. I, I've been meaning to watch it for a while and just it being on Disney Plus just kind of finally gave me an excuse to watch it. Uh, but uh, so the first thing I'm gonna review is uh, Muppets Now, uh, episode four. That drops on Disney Plus this Friday, uh, along with the one and only Ivan. So, oh, by the way, I should state right now, if you're not interested in me going over things I'm planning to review, click out the video now. I'm done talking about things that I've watched. Because I just talked about everything i watched. But anyways, those things are dropping on Disney Plus this Friday. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to review those day one. I do every Friday. Um, so that's that's the dealio there. Um, I'm also planning to review Tron Legacy and Tron Uprising and Serenity. So those three things, I'm not sure. I should state right now, though. Everything I state in this video, if I don't review it this week, I am sorry. I tried to. It just didn't happen. And I did my best. I'm going to try to. But... I have a, I'm trying to do a schedule with my reviews from now on. And if I review anything or talk about anything that I didn't intend to talk about, it happened. So, but um, those are those are things on Disney Plus. I'm talk, I'm gonna watch Serenity. I'm gonna watch like I buy on physical copy because it's not on Disney Plus. Which I feel like they should have Firefly on Disney Plus, or at least on Hulu. I don't understand it, but um. Just so more people could check it out. Because, like, I have it. I watch it, my physical copy, and I prefer the physical copy. But a lot of people are like, they don't care about that stuff. And so, like, it'd be nice if that was on uh, Disney Plus or Hulu. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to... So, let's go into Netflix. I have a lot in Netflix that I had set reminders for. Um, and I'm really excited to talk about a lot of stuff on Netflix, actually. Because there's actually a lot of movies coming out this week on Netflix. Which I miss going to the theater and talking about movies every single week. I really miss that a lot. You re- you really do not know how much I miss that. Um, but let's go into the latest. Okay. So, Friday we have Lucifer season five which i probably will talk about saturday if i had to take a guess because there's just a lot coming out that friday i already mentioned the one and only ivan coming out that friday muppets now episode four here so i don't get copyright claim i'm gonna mute that um but you know tonight 
time I'm recording this, uh, because it's like almost midnight, um, I'm probably going to stay up and watch it. Quit Tick Season 2 comes out, so that'll probably be out tomorrow. Um, and then Sleepover, the Netflix, is a Netflix movie coming this Friday. And it, the, here's the synopsis of it. Also, I reviewed the other all four seasons of Lucifer and Glitzik Season 1. If you want to see that on my main channel, come back and see us. But let's go over the synopsis of this movie. A mom's hidden past a high and heist. A string of clues and spy gadgets. This slip, this sleepover just got interesting. I guess it's probably like some spy kids rip off, but I'll be reviewing that Friday. High Score is a Netflix limited series. It's coming Wednesday, so that's the nineteenth. This uh, discourages traces of history of classic video games or discusses. The history of classic video games featuring insight in, from inventors who brought these worlds and characters to life. So like Sonic and Space Invader. Some of the, like, you know, major classics. Um, and then we got this film right here, which is coming Thursday, called John Was Trying to Contact Us. Or Trying to Contact Aliens. His lifelong dream was led to an energetic quest but he eventually made a different sort of first contact so this is another netflix movie coming out this friday it doesn't look like a kids movie like the other ones were but yeah um and then this is another one that they got coming out the crimes that bind us although she can fall through Flaunt her privilege, Angelica finds herself in a quandary which she must rethink everything she knows. That one sounds the most interesting. That's also coming Thursday, so I will be watching these films Thursday and the high score. And, um, Wednesday. I know there was another movie. I'm trying to see if it's here. Huh. Oh, look, we got another Netflix movie actually coming. So I'll have to add that to the list of things I'm checking out. I'm checking out a lot of stuff, if you cannot tell, um, because I want to cover more, you know, more uh, recent stuff, so that way, you know, I can't say I have more content coming out. Also, Class of 83, I forgot about this one. An upright veteran, five leaf, leaf, lethal navies to clean up the unsuspicious system that may first need to start paying, playing dirty. I'm just actually, just from the description of that, sounds like a really violent movie, but it's not rated R. Interesting. But yeah, um, and then Crazy Awesome Teachers. Becoming a teacher was the last thing he wanted on his path. He's always rejected. Will he find a new purpose? Interesting film. A lot of these have, like, really bad descriptions, honestly. Like, who came up with descriptions? I do not know, but they did a bad description. But I will still be checking out. I mean, wow, that's like, geez Louise, that's like, what, three movies coming out on Netflix, and then I have Lucifer season five, and then I have Muppets Now, you know, all the, that's like five different things coming out this Friday on Netflix, or, well, I guess two of them are on Disney Plus, but still, that's a lot of content to be checking out, and I'm going to check it all out and be doing reviews, but still, like, whoa, calm it down. 